Here are some of the weirdest inventions mankind has ever come up with. Number 10. The Urban Window Baby Cage Everyone knows what a baby is, right? Those frail, stupid, and pungent little creatures that can always find a way to hurt themselves when you leave them alone for 30 seconds. Like, they somehow stick five forks in a socket because four shocks wasn't enough to let them know it was a bad idea. Well, Miss Robert C. Laferty had an ingenious invention that could protect the babies from the dangers of the inside world by putting them in the safe environment of the outside world. It was created because of the increasing awareness of outdoor fresh air benefits for babies and the lack of garden or outdoor space in apartments. So she aimed to fix that crisis by designing a cage that allows babies to get fresh air while hanging outside of their windows. Now, you may be asking, how did this absolutely flawless and perfect idea not catch on? Because apparently, the parents of the 1900s didn't like the idea of hanging their babies in a cage hundreds of feet above the ground. You know, where they could get shat on by a bird, get skin cancer, or just straight up fall off. But the funniest thing to me about this invention is that someone got to brag about being the baby in the photo. I can just imagine that person in heaven like, You know the baby cage? Yeah, well I was the baby in the photo. Then why are you still a baby in heaven? Oh, well let's just say that idea didn't really stick around. Number 9. The Portable Radio Hat This is the perfect representation of a great idea being made in the wrong era with the most terrible of executions. Created during 1949, an inventor from Berlin just wanted to listen to some bangers while on the go. <laughs> But sadly, it didn't work out for him because the technology at the time wasn't suited for such a futuristic idea. Not only were there issues with the radio signals, it was also impractical to have, and worst of all, it was uncomfortable. But what really killed this guy's idea was the invention of the transistor radio in 1955. I know for a fact if this guy saw headphones today, he would be rolling in his grave. But maybe in an alternate reality, instead of it being Beats by Dre, it would be Beats by Berlin. Number 8. The Mass Shaving Machine This is the epitome of a Dr. Seuss invention. It looks exactly like something that would come straight from the Lorax or from all the places you'll go. I could only imagine what the sales pitch for this invention would look like. Is shaving too hard? Does it take too much time? Do you want to shave your mustache with a bunch of other dirty men with a dirty razor that many other people have used on their faces too? Well, look no further because this unknown man has tried to make a machine that can do just that. And don't worry, he didn't want to be known because he's too humble, not because his invention is stupid and didn't want to be credited with such an idiotic idea. I say tried because he very much failed in this endeavor, since every barber had a mild skill issue of not being able to shave tall, big, short, and skinny faces at the same time without taking off a nose or two. Who would have known shaving five different men simultaneously with different face shapes and different facial hair would have been so hard? Number 7. The Face Glove I bet players that have to guard Luca wish this invention took off, but on a more serious note, this invention was created during the 20th century by Madame Helen M. Rowley. And like many other inventions during that time, it was created for beautifying and preserving youthful skin, along with removing blemishes and imperfections. But like, do normal gloves do that in the first place? Though it was initially popular, its downfall lies in the materials that were used, such as asbestos, sulfur, and lead, which to no modern person surprises hazardous and causes more skin problems than they were sold to solve. They should really make a horror movie about this, like a woman just wanted to look young again and bought this glove, but over time her face became more decayed so she just takes the faces of other young women. If it does somehow get made and becomes a banger, you can send my thank you letter to this mailbox. Number 6. The Dinosphere Tired of having four wheels on a car instead of one? Well, Dr. J.A. Purvess's invention during the 1930s has just the solution for you. Wanting to add a new spin on road vehicle designs, this car featured a giant monowheel, but surprise surprise, no one wanted it because not only are normal cars faster and better looking, they are also much safer. What would be a mild fender bender for a normal car would airmail this piece of garbage straight to a very long anime isekai series. Like that time I bought a shitty car and got hit by an 18 wheeler and became a very generic overpowered protagonist, but ignore getting hit on the tire part, imagine getting hit on the side. Number 5. The Loop to Loop Double Bicycle This grand invention reigns from the year 1905 where all Mr. K. Lang wanted to do was pop sick tricks and get hot chicks. Except he didn't, his invention failed so hard that I'm pretty sure his chick count went into the negatives. This invention had one objective and one objective only, it was supposed to perform a loop-to-loop -loop maneuver within a circular track. 
Oh, but would you look at that? Everybody but him thought it was a bad idea, where the design was deemed improbable with the potential to injure or kill the rider. So luckily for everybody involved, the invention was only allowed to stay on paper. Number 4. The Ostrich Pillow you may be asking, how did this fail? Isn't it just a normal feather pillow except its feathers are just from an ostrich? Nope. Being created very recently in 2012 by Kawamura Ganjavian, he was inclined to make it for one's personal relaxation and stress reduction and to do things like this in public. Like imagine waking someone up at the library and they look up at you with this on their head. While the concept appealed to some apparently mentally ill individuals, its bulky design and limited functionality stopped it from gaining any popularity, where the invisible hand of capitalism struck the idea down, but I guess the invisible hand isn't all powerful since pet rocks were a thing. Number 3. The Impulsoria Despite having an absolutely dank name, the Impulsoria was a stupid invention. Developed by a man named Clemente Maserano in 1850, it was meant to utilize animal power on railways. But like, why? Did he see the faster, stronger, and more efficient trains and think, I'm gonna make something worse, and probably more expensive, and it's gonna sell like hotcakes? To probably only his surprise, it faced practical challenges, like not being able to move at a consistent speed with hundreds of passengers over long periods of time, and being outdone by the already existing trains. Number 2. Mousetrap Pistol Now for this invention, I want you to guess where it came from. Don't worry, I'll make it easier for you. It came from Texas by one James A. Williams in 1882, where it was created to address mice infestation in a novel way. I guess these mice really didn't remember the Alamo. This concoction of bad ideas took a lever armed with a loaded 50 caliber revolver, and every time that lever or pulley was set off, poor little Jerry would be blasted into high heaven, just like in the cartoons. Except this time, he wouldn't be alive to spin it back on Tom anymore. Somehow, this product faced significant safety concerns in logical humans, who knew having a loaded 50 caliber revolver in your living room could possibly pose a threat to your unsuspecting child. Number 1. Chain Smoker. And no, I'm not talking about the ban, which is equally as bad. I'm talking about every school's nicotine bathroom camper's wet dream. During the mid 20th century, an unknown fiend beyond belief crafted this abomination. What it promised was a stronger fix for smokers and lung cancer at 10 times the speed. While it may have appealed to heavy smokers seeking a stronger nicotine hit, concerns about health risk and the impracticality of inhaling from multiple cigarettes at once likely hindered its adoption. The people that bought it probably had a serious talk with Jesus after inhaling these toxic fumes. I hope that this teaches us no matter how stupid you think one of your ideas may be, someone out there has had one that is 10 times dumber. And if you have an invention in mind, you should probably try to make it, because if you succeed you will become a millionaire, and if you fail, you might end up on one of my videos. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in another episode.